Hi, I'm Storm. And I'm Mike. And we are from Advance Group. What are we talking about today, Storm? Uh, today we are talking about the, these Lino dots. Yep. Um, I've never seen these before, so what would you use them for? Yep, so a little bit of a, I, I wouldn't say super rare, but um, more rare than other ways of uh, marking out a car park for the car spaces in a car park. Mm -hmm. So uh, the kits, well, if you call it a kit, uh, is two items. It comes with this part here and this large nail here. And the use for these is to delineate the corners or edges of a car park when you don't have a nice surface like asphalt or concrete. So whether it's um, very rough asphalt that's old and thin and deteriorating, or if it's gravel, um, then you can use um, these to mark out the bays for the cars to be able to park. So in marking them out, yep. what are you doing with them? Um, so uh, if you would have um, a plan of your car park, then you would have to measure out where you're gonna um, make each car bay. Now, um, typically a car bay is around 2.55 metres or plus or minus, you know, 50, 60, 70, 100 mil, um, different for disabled bays, but um, typically um, you would have to mark out with a maybe a string line where's, where the bays are going to be with your measurements. And then um, at the corners of your, your bays, you can either um, put a T shape. So to make a T shape, it's a bit hard to show on this video, but uh, say for example, if you had one, two, three, or even just one, two, and then two here, the, 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 the quickest way would be one, two, three, four dots at each corner. Mm -hmm. That's if they are, you know, in the middles. Um, if it's the corner edges, you just have one, two, three. That's the quickest, easy one. If you wanted to put some extra um, of these lino dots to make it a bigger T, then you could um, at the corners. Um, and then, yeah, so you'd have to hit the nail in, obviously. Um, and then you've got different colours of these. So t typically people would use white or yellow. Yep. Um, is there a reason why there's different colours or just... Yeah, um, it depends. Like some people have different preferences for different things. Sometimes you might use this for a different purpose altogether. Mm -hmm. um, other than a car bay, you know, um, I couldn't think of too many things off the top of my head, but um, you know, if you're um, some, doing some sort of athletics or sports or whatever, and you wanted to just put something instead of paint on a, a field or an oval or something, you could use it for a different purpose. But um, I guess if you had blue, you could use blue for disabled bays. Mm -hmm. um, if you had very white gravel on the car park, you could use yellow instead of white just so you have that um, contrast of color from your white gravel or stones so that it's obvious that there's a car bay where the car bays are. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, if your gravel was very yellow, you might use white, et cetera. Mm -hmm. um, uh, red, I, I wouldn't have a guess at what you would use red for at a car park, but there is, um, white, yellow, red, blue, I can't remember what other colours there might be. Um, but um, yeah, for this video, we've just got a red one and a yellow one. Yep, and what are they made out of? Um, from memory, I think this is a thermoplastic. Yep. So thermoplastic can be um, stronger than steel. Now, nothing's invincible, steel or, or plastic, but obviously if it's going in the ground, um, you know, you don't want it to be able to rust. Um, and you want it for a good price, so uh, it would be chosen for a few different reasons. Mm -hmm. yep. And do you know what the sizing of them are? Uh, so this is a 100 mil diameter. Mm -hmm. um, the measurement, I forget how high this is. It could be somewhere around uh, 8 or 10 mil, I forget. Yep. Yep. So, so you were saying before, they can be used for like a range of different things as well. Yeah. Yep. Um, like sometimes people will even stick these down on um, concrete or asphalt. Um, sometimes... Um, paint, like line marking paint doesn't, it's actually not paint when it's line marking paint, it's typically um, chlorinated rubber, but sometimes it doesn't stick to concrete very well, especially if it's getting a lot of heavy traffic, 
Um, so, I mean, we've even had people who have epoxy, epoxied these onto um, concrete. Um, asphalt, you know, you could um, use a thermal adhesive pad to put this down onto asphalt. Um, so this is the kit, one of these and a nail? Yep, so this is a bit of a rare nail. You might not find this at Bunnings or many places. This is a five inch long galvanized steel nail. Mm -hmm. um, and so if this is being pushed down into uh, gravel, um, it doesn't move. A lot of people have a bit of a worry that this wouldn't be sufficient to hold this down in gravel when cars are driving over it, but mm. it's more than adequate and we've never had a problem with it coming away, coming out or moving. Yep. And you said it's fine to be outdoors for a long period of time. Yeah, so it's got some UV inhibitor in it to stop it from deteriorating. Mm -hmm. um, nothing's invincible, obviously. So, you know, you might find after five or 10 years, you might have one or two start getting cracks and breaks in them, depending on how much traffic they have, how much sun that they get, etc. cetera. But, um, you know, typically you would find them, you know, more than plus or minus a decade. Mm -hmm. Yeah to last yeah could you use them for this might be silly but like other things like when you're saying did you say they're measuring cow parks no no to install them, oh, to install um, them. if you had a plan you would measure out normally um, if I was doing the job I would use a string line mm -hmm. so a lot of the a lot of installers or tradies or handymen will carry um, you know big long lengths of string yeah so if you put a peg at each end where you, um, the row of bays is going to be but you know whatever spacings and uh, then you can um, use a hammer and, and, and just tie your string up yeah. and that, that way you're effectively um, keeping everything perfectly in line because if you do it by just a measuring tape mm -hmm. um, you'll find that you're, you're, um, you, it's never perfect and you'll have stuff looks looks weird and you run your eye down and it looks horrible. Yeah so. so when you get these do you need to get some like string and you can do that? Yeah so um, we can probably put um, a photo up on this video. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if, how, how much, um, how many photos we might be able to find to be able to show how to install it, mm -hmm. or um, you know, some examples in some way, just to help people to sort of uh, visualise and understand mm -hmm. how how we could typically do it. Whether we're doing a whole line down each. Um, bay of just a series of these mm -hmm. or whether we create a, 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 an effective t-shape in the corners mm -hmm. um, or you know a, a 90 degree L shape um, in corners you can sort of mix and match which way that you want to do it depending on how um, your preference is yeah and if people needed the string as well do you sell that on your website so the string is just for installation and you remove it yeah. after you've installed these yeah. um, so I guess I've probably thrown you a little bit with um, discussing the installation mm -hmm. technique um, it's kind of a, a, a tradey sort of um, methodology for doing stuff when uh, you could use laser mm -hmm. um, you could use paint um, you could use a string you could use a chalk line um, so there's multiple different ways that a tradie will make a straight line mm -hmm. on a on a, um, when they're doing construction and it's temporarily just there for them to be able to install something it's always making it perfectly straight so yeah yeah is there anything else we could know about these um i don't think i need to go too much further into uh, anything else about them mm -hmm. um probably did we talk about the discounts i forget oh uh, so if yeah, I guess if you they needed a lot of these because yep. one's just not going to do the job. Yeah, of course. Um, can they get a discount if they buy them in bulk? Yep. Yeah. Um, so uh, with every product on our website, uh, there's automatic bulk discounts and there's further discounts if you have trade pricing. Um, so if you are one of the uh, trades that sort of purchases off us regularly, you can set up a, um, a trade discount and you just have to contact our sales staff, they'll walk you through it, and once you've registered for trade discounts, you can go on our website, log in, and then on every product page like this, you'll see there's a button um, for, tr for automatic bulk discounts. When you press that button, it'll pop up a, um, a table which shows you the price breaks for 5, 10, 30, 50, and 100, and that way you can save yourself some money in it. it it's, um, you get one discount for trade pricing and then a further discount for bulk discounts. So it's a good way to save some money. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's probably about it. 
Um, if you want to buy this product, you can search for Lino Dot on our website, and our website's www.advancedgroup.com.au. And if you like the video, you want to see more videos like this, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thanks, mate. Bye. Bye.